Bowman Randy here, and we're playing Farming Simulator 17 on Southern Cross here on the RDL and a multiplayer server. Just myself on here at the moment, and we are seeding one of the fields here with soybeans. We had a John Deere 8530 with a small John Deere air seeder. I don't know why the uh, pipe for the tank is always messed up like that whenever you start, but that fixes that. And yes, unfortunately, it looks like the uh, sun is going down on the server here at the moment. Get a nice little headland down here that we can start going around the field. Somebody already got most of the field planted here. Actually, it looks like they're planting both fields at the same time, both 19 and 18 here. I'm assuming the uh, cedar over there must have ran out, uh, at least judging by the uh, what's planted here. And just a reminder again, if you'd like to join us on the multiplayer server, information is in the description below. Uh, there's two download links for each server, server 1 and server 2. And again, this is server 2. So if you want to join us on server 2, make sure you download server 2 mods. Uh, we do try to keep the mods the same between both servers, at least as close as possible anyway. You know, again, obviously there are some differences, but for the most part, they should be very similar, if not the same. And again, first download link should download all the mods needed to join the server. Uh, if you've never joined before, I suggest using that download link, even though it might take a little while. And then if you have joined before, you know, just use the other link there. It can take you to the server download page. Download the mods individually. Which I don't think you can refertilize. Yeah, it doesn't look like this actually uh, refertilizes, so... If it's been planted and didn't get fertilized with the planter initially, uh, going over it again with this cedar doesn't actually fertilize it. At least not this uh, cedar anyway. Also, if you want to join us on the server, make sure you join us on TeamSpeak as well. Again, TeamSpeak is simply a voice chat client uh, similar to Skype or Discord. And again, we do not have Discord. We just simply just have TeamSpeak. I know a lot of people keep asking if we have a Discord server. We do not. Just TeamSpeak. And again, information is in the uh, description below for the TeamSpeak server. And anyone can join that would like to, as long as you can uh, play nicely and uh, follow the rules. And again, we currently have City of Vasquez on server one. Nice large map there. Then we have server two here with Southern Cross. And server three with the York County logging map. And again, all this information can be found in TeamSpeak as well. All the download links for the servers, passwords for the servers, information for the servers can all be found in TeamSpeak. Uh, the reason some of the information for the servers is not in the uh, description below is to force people to join TeamSpeak. Uh, just adds an additional step there to try to help keep the troublemakers off the servers. Plus a much, much better uh, communication platform. Again, just using the in-game chat is uh, rather limited. So, but TeamSpeak, obviously you got voice chat as well as text chat. And again, just a reminder there, too, as well, if you don't have a microphone, you can still join us on TeamSpeak. Or even if you do have a microphone and don't want to talk, you can do that as well. And again, like I mentioned, they are open servers, so anyone that would like to join is welcome to do so. Again, just kind of follow the rules. Pretty much the only requirement.
Oh, that's a little, yes, a little bit over here yet. And then we'll move on to the next field here. Those who could uh, turn the lights on, that might help. Oh, so close. Not quite, though. Little small piece left yet. And yes, as you can probably tell, you can drive through most of the objects on this map, the trees, the fences, etc. That does make this kind of a more hired worker from the map while still giving it, you know, a nice amount of detail. You got the fences by the field there. Kind of looks real that way. But at the same time, you can still use a hired worker on the field without any problems. Although, keep in mind, the uh, field shapes on this uh, map are a little bit on the odd side. So that might not be the most, uh, you know, hired worker friendly. Double check. I'm assuming that's uh, soybeans. Yes, that's soybeans on this field too. Figured I better check that before we start planting. Just in case. Don't want one of the uh, mixed fields again. That does have a tendency of happening every now on the multiplayer server. You know, somebody uh, starts seeding, they leave, somebody else takes over, or maybe we got uh, more than one person seeding on the server. The next thing you know, you got uh, two different crops or three different crops on the same field. Always makes it uh, fun to harvest. And as you folks can probably tell, since the last episode, we've upgraded to some uh, John Deere equipment here. We've got quite a few uh, John Deere equipment uh, on the map already. And again, this was one of the maps from the mod contest. So I'm assuming uh, for you console players, you could probably get this for the console, I would assume, being that it was from the mod contest. I showed some of these uh, funny missing strips here, but we'll uh, get those here in a moment. if I can drive through this or not. Or am I going to have to move it? No, I don't have to move it. Okay, good. We'll just kind of drive through it then. Looks like whoever was uh, doing the CD must not have been using a GPS. Which I guess technically I'm not using a GPS here at the moment either. One thing with odd shaped fields, GPS doesn't necessarily lend itself well to them. You know, unfortunately, unlike uh, real life, you can't uh, contour the uh, field like you can with a real GPS. Uh, too bad uh, somebody hasn't come out with a GPS mod for Farming Simulator that can actually do that. Create a curved GPS line or basically a line that actually follows the contour of the field like right here.
And two passes here should be good enough for Headland. We'll start going up and down the field here again. And might Let's see, is this straight? Yes, it looks like it's straight. So we could probably start using the uh, GPS mod here then. Okay, there we go. Like I said, should be enough of a headland. And for all you people with OCD, we'll uh, hit this here a moment. And yes, if you have not seen this map yet, so far a very nice looking map. I'm assuming the fact that you can drive through the trees here probably means you can't cut them down. At least uh, that would be my assumption anyway. Oh, do I have a chainsaw? No, no, not have a chainsaw. I don't know if we've done any forestry on this map yet or not. That doesn't quite look straight, but I guess good enough. Actually, straighten that. That actually looks perfect almost. Okay. A little better line with it here. Okay, and we'll uh, read some comments here in a moment. Uh, Chevy was saying, thanks for reading my comment on a video. Not a problem. Uh, chat was saying, I started a new Snetterton's save game without seasons. We'll harvest and transfer to this save game. Got tired of waiting days to do anything. Uh, there again with the season mod, if you're tired of waiting days, you can change it down to a three-day season. That should, in theory, make it pretty quick. And also, I think it was at Alt, Alt S. I like to say. I have to actually go look back and maybe look at the key bindings. Uh, we'll fast forward 12 hours with the Seasons mod. I don't know how uh, carried away you want to get with that, but uh, you can uh, fast forward time days using that. And again, I'm assuming here too, at least with the save game I've got going on at the moment, once we get going to the map, you know, feeding, taking care of the animals, uh, mowing grass, etc. We'll probably have quite a bit more to do. You know, at this point we're just getting started, just planting our first fields, you know, just mowing our first grass. So not as much to do at this point. And also somebody suggested as well, maybe you'll know, leave the game time at 5 or 15x. Probably should do that as well, at least, you know, maybe when I'm not playing on video. Change it to that. Uh, Jen was saying, cool game. Talking about the farming simulator, I'm assuming. Rudy was asking, do you have a link for all your mods with one link? Uh, that depends. If you're talking all the mods I have for single player, no, I do not. Uh, the best I have for that is a mod list. And again, that's a reminder, there is a mod list in the uh, description. It goes to a Word document where I list all the mods I have downloaded. I want to emphasize there that I have downloaded because uh, some of the mods I have came from the multiplayer server and as such, I don't have links for those. And or I have uh, mods that have been shared with me privately. And there again, obviously I do not have links for those. So those, those are kind of the uh, two exceptions for the mod list there. But again, all the mods I've downloaded should be a link in the mod list forum. And again, that will take you to a Word document. I've got it uh, categorized as much as possible. You know, tractors and cultivators and all the other equipment, etc. Now, if you're talking uh, multiplayer, then yes, we do have a download all link for the multiplayer servers. Again, that only downloads the mods for the multiplayer servers. You know, so whatever mods are on the multiplayer server, those are the mods you'll get. 
And again, those links are primarily intended if you want to join us on the multiplayer server. Uh, Mathos was saying there's a gate right by the TMR mixer to the grass field. Ah, I did not notice that. I'll have to pay a little bit better attention to that. A little bit of a shortcut to the cow farm there. And I guess technically, too, the first time I wasn't actually going to the cow farm, so that's probably why I didn't uh, notice that. Uh, Mathos was saying that those silos by the cows will make silage. Yes, we did find that there kind of the end of the last episode on Snetterton's farm. Again, that's the Snetterton's farm single player series. And you use the fermenting silos there to make the silage. A little bit easier than using the bunker. I don't know that you have to have a, you know, a minimum amount of the fermenting bunkers. At least not that I know of anyway. But we probably won't have, you know, if we were to use the regular bunkers, we probably won't have the minimum amount to actually ferment the silage. Although I actually don't know if there is really a minimum anymore with 17. Uh, Tom was saying, get the International 3588, I'm assuming you mean. Once we can afford it, we probably will. Which reminds me, I didn't actually take the time to look up the horsepower for that tractor. Like I said, in the game, that seemed like a bit high. For that uh, tractor. Mind you, I'm not particularly familiar with international series of tractors and their horsepower ranges, but it seemed a bit high. Uh, Nick was saying the Massey Ferguson pack of equipment says air not found. Uh oh, so I guess I have a bad link there in the mod list. And again, that's something that happens. Uh, the link that was in the mod list is what I used to download the mod. So apparently it's no good anymore. That's probably because they updated it, I'm assuming. There is an updated version of the Massey Ferguson pack. And that is what we are using, that single player at least anyway. Again, using quite a bit of the uh, Massey Ferguson equipment there on the uh, Snetterton's farm. Okay, looks like the last little bit here. that'll do it other than the little missing bits here and there okay we'll head back to the farm here then Okay, what uh, shed shall we park this in here? Lots to choose from here on this uh, map. We can find one of the pressure washer here. Wash this tractor and planter off here a moment. What? Of all the sheds we have, I don't see one that has a pressure washer at the moment. I thought they almost all had one. It's not quite. Uh, can we not go this way? I guess not. Okay. And like I said, two of the trees, I'm assuming with the fact that you can kind of drive through them probably means you can't cut them down, I'm assuming. A pile of grass there, interesting. Oh, this is where the sheep are. That's probably why the pile of grass there. Okay. Oh, let's see. What's, where is the path here to get to the other side? This 
we'll go back around this way. Oh, and J&M Gravity Wagon there. Yes, that is a reminder. We did add the uh, J&M Gravity Wagons to the multiplayer server here. We do have those wagons on the server. Uh, we also added the uh, J&M Seed Tender. Uh, we can use that to actually fill up the cedars here. Now, obviously, we can use the uh, supply truck, but uh, some of these maps here have seed in production facilities on them. So when you have the seed in production facilities, you need a way to transport the seed to the seeder. And yeah, like I said, for that we found the J&M seed trailer seems to work pretty good for that. JCS Rob was asking, how do you get John Deere on the Xbox One? Well, that is an easy answer. You don't. Okay, where shall we park this here? Pulling shed over here looks uh, particularly inviting. Okay, let's get the other tractor off the field here as well. Let's see, where was that? That was right there. Oh, it's a blue one. Looks like we don't have to wash this tractor and planter. Oh, and we'll just uh, park this one by the uh, seed tender over there. See how we can back this one in, or at least I can anyway. Backing the other uh, cedar in is a little bit more difficult. There we go. And again, here's the uh, J&M seed tender. Looks like there was seed in it. I'm assuming that. Yeah, it looks like seed anyway. Okay, looks like the fields are seeded. So we could probably take over for harvesting here. Looks like we had some harvesting going on, so we can do that for the rest of the episode here. On your S series. This is what? A 690. Okay. Let's see, we set up for the GPS mod here. It looks like we are. Oh, how's it empty here? I just realized we're almost full, too. Uh, let's empty here first. Aaron was saying, great video. Thank you very much for that. Nolan was saying, I live in Texas. Well, that's cool. Evan was saying you need to get the 8970 with double wheels. It gets the job done. Yes, I bet it does. And again, another nice older looking John Deere tractor there. It's obviously a larger John Deere tractor, by the way. Uh, chat was saying, great video. I always learn a lot watching. Well, thank you very much for that. 
Deb was saying, love it. Oh, yes, and these are the Caterpillar headers, aren't they? We can harvest at 12 miles per hour with these headers. A little bit uh, OP if you ask me, but oh well. Animal is saying the uh, 89 series John Deere is nice, but doesn't have a three-point hitch. Also, thanks for the great videos and mods. Thank you very much for that. Oh, I did not know that about the uh, 89 series. So, yeah, that will limit you to some of the equipment then. That requires three-point hitch. Which, at least to my knowledge, at least in the states where I live, it's not very common to see at least the larger equipment like that that requires three-point hitches. User joined your channel. Hello. Joined by Nick. I'm here on TeamSpeak server. And like I was mentioned earlier, if you don't have a mic, you can still join. Uh, Nick, I'm here. I believe it's one of the individuals that does not have a mic or either that A chooses not to use it. And yes, that uh, ding you heard, I'm assuming the recording picked that up anyway. Uh, the ding that you heard was him posting a message in the TeamSpeak chat. There we go, now we got a little more light. David was saying it's chopping fast. I only chop at about three miles per hour, and that's if the knives are sharp. Scott was saying that's exactly how the dash on a 55 Oliver really looks. Well, that's pretty good. Like I said, for those of you looking for some good Oliver mods, make sure you check out the Oliver 1955 pack. It needs to be very nicely done. So the GPS doesn't seem to line up real well, but okay. Hey, no saying no. Hey, where did you get the Miller Silage Wangen mod? Again, there should be a link in the mod list for those. Don't remember exactly what I put them under, like probably trailers, miscellaneous trailers or something like that, I think. And again, there should be a search function there you can use as well. They should just be able to search for it and should be able to find it on the list there somewhere. On YouTube saying, and people choose how far the dual tires are from each other, like on the John Deere 8R series tractors. Yes, the uh, 8R, I just did a mod review here for, as well as the 89 series, the big uh, four-wheel drive John Deere tractor. They both have the option for 22-inch or 30-inch spacing on the duals. Alex was saying, I wish there was a good John Deere 4020, 417, the one here looks bad. Yes, it does, unfortunately. And that is one reason I kind of stay away from some of the older mods sometimes. Unfortunately, they uh, don't look real good at times. Uh, John Deere 8410 is saying, hey, you put a lot of work into the mod list. Thank you very much for that. Anyway, folks, looking at the time, looks like it's time to wrap up the episode here again. So with that, if folks have any comments or questions, be sure to leave them below. Also, a reminder, if you want to join us on the multiplayer server, more than welcome to do so as well. As long as you can play nicely and follow the rules. And again, thanks for watching, and until next time.